Hey people, welcome to Health and Crafts. So today I want to talk about my journey on Weight Watchers. I'm going to be honest, um, it's hard, but um, I'm going to tell you the reasons why I decided to want to do it and how it's been or like what foods I can eat or not eat. But after I started after um, when my daughter um, turned about one years old. Um, I noticed that I wasn't like um, in the weight that I wanted to be and I've never been um, in this weight um, ever in my life and like my life changed once I had a baby I was like you know what I want to be healthy I want to be able to do things with my children and you know just be more healthy you know and a healthy mom is you know a healthy um, a healthy, healthier you is a healthier mom is a healthier wife. You know, you just, your atmosphere changes, you know? So that was my main thing of why, what caused me to, you know, want to change and wanted to do this lifestyle change, you know? And I'm going to be honest with you. When I, I've heard of Weight Watchers for a long time. My mother joined Weight Watchers. I remember her doing it when I was, you know, a little younger and it was so well for her. She loved it. So I was like, okay. But I, what really captured me was seeing the freestyle. I was like, oh my gosh, I can eat what I want. Let's be real. <laughs> Food is yummy, you know? So I was like, you know, I really don't know if I can just eat the points, you know? What else would I be able to eat? So when I saw the commercials come out about freestyle and everything, I was like, oh my gosh, so I can eat like chicken breast for free. Like I can eat chicken breast as much as I want. I can eat vegetables as much as I want. I can eat fruits as much as I want. So I was like, oh my gosh, so it is possible. You know what I mean? Because I'm, oh, excuse me. I'm be honest. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do it? Because I love to eat. You know what I mean? I love to cook. I love to cook. I can be in the kitchen and cooking and baking and um, it's fun for me. So I love being creative in those things. So when I found out that there was a freestyle when I can eat as much chicken breast, as much fruit, um, vegetables, or like seafood, fish and stuff like that it was free. I was like, oh my gosh. So, you know, um, there's a, a there's a way to do it, you know? It's just a matter of balancing out and see what works for you. So I tried it. I started it in February of this year, 2018. Like a day after Valentine's Day, I think it was like February 15th. And um, I can honestly say it's been hard because, um, you know, you expect the weight to come off fast. But, you know... As people, we need to know that also it didn't come o overnight all this weight. You know what I mean? So what keeps me going is that at least I see some weight loss. So I joined in February and it's May. We're in the month of May. And at the end of the month of May, and I lost 10.6 pounds. So, you know, I was excited about that. At first it was hard. I was telling my husband, oh my gosh, I'm not losing this much weight. Because some people, they lose... um weight like really fast but i realized that it doesn't matter if one loses this and one loses that what matters is that you're lo losing the weight um what matters is that you're gonna make it you know what i mean so that's what keeps you pushing keeps you going so if you feel discouraged in your weight loss right now or in your shape just know that you're gonna make it you know i know that weight watchers is it's hard honestly my first week I wanted to cry because I was like how can I do this because I don't think people know but um sugar I found out you know because I was talking to my doctor and I found out you know in the beginning of my process of losing weight on Weight Watchers I was like why is my head hurting why am I having headaches and I cut a lot of sugar you know off at that first week I didn't eat no sugar um, and I didn't realize that, but they say that sugar is more addictive than cocaine. I was like, what in the world? So, um, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. But you can have, um, um, what's it called? Symptoms of headache, like migraines, like intense headaches 
when you stop taking sugar. Um, they call it withdrawals from sugar. So I was like, what in the world? Who would have knew, right? So that, so that was really hard for me, you know, and I love, like I said, baking and cooking. So I always wanted chocolate chip cookies. So, so I also did an earlier video, like a slideshow of like low point foods and like chips or like cakes that you can buy and stuff like that, that are really good. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Please like and subscribe to the page. But um, I, so I lost 10.6 pounds and it's been hard, but you know, I've learned that there's things in life that are hard, but once you are able to reap those benefits and enjoy it, you're like, oh my gosh, I did it. You're so proud of yourself. So, you know, it feels like you're not able to do it, but I want you to know that nothing is impossible, you know? And, um, so recently these past couple weeks has been like really hard. Like I've been like, on the same 10.6 pounds loss but you know my husband's like don't worry you know the good thing is that at least you didn't gain which is so true so you know it's always good to have a good support system too you know so my husband and he always makes me think back and be like you know what you haven't gained so that's good you know think about that so it's like it's a mindset of positivity and i also want to like talk about how it's so good to keep a journal through this process because you learn so much about yourself you learn about things that you didn't even know that you were addicted to that um that is not good at all like at one point i wanted chocolate like all the time and I'm like, oh my gosh, how can I not have chocolate? And you know, it's the self-control. You have to have self-control. And once you get to that point that you have self-control, it's like so good. But like recently, I was like, oh my gosh, I learned that once I eat something that's bad, I keep doing something, eating that same thing because i'm like i already ate it so it's just like oh my gosh so it's just habits that you learn that you're of yourself and you know especially writing it down or you know think or like just having a little journal whatever you learn in your journey of weight loss you learn habits that you have that need to be broken otherwise sometimes you just would never know so but that is my journey and i want to say that you have once you get like deep like Probably like I'm me for me personally in my opinion it was like for me it was around the two week mark that I got a little bit more comfortable as far as like not feeling I'm gonna die um like I learned about different tortilla like a tortilla that um you can have for one point a tortilla you can have for one point and things like that that I like um uh, that I realized that I can actually have to eat and it's not too bad for me and um, I love fruits, so that wasn't too bad for me. And and then also, since I love cooking and everything, I was like, oh my gosh, it's, I, it's been harder for me now, like learning new recipes that are like really like healthy recipes. So it's just like, but it's, once you get the hang of it and start making like these recipes that are like more healthy and things like that, then it gets more comfortable. But for me around that second week, it was like so much better. So way better than the first week where I was like, what is going on? You know, so especially when you're so used to eating late at night, that's the intense part because your body has to get used to that. And um, when you're used to eating late, for me, late was probably like seven o'clock. I have a problem with eating at seven o'clock. Oh, Lord knows I love me some chips, some chocolate. I saw some videos that some woman put up and they're like on the Weight Watchers page on Facebook and whatever. They're like, oh, when you're doing so good all day and then like nighttime comes and then you're eating chips, Oreos and everything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that was me the first week. I was like, Lord Jesus. So, but um, yeah, you so you can eat like chicken breasts, veggies, all that, you know, as much as you want. So like if you want to eat something out, you just can eat all your free meals that day. Like are your free eye foods like vegetables chicken breast and um you um fruits fish like seafoods and stuff um and like unsweetened applesauce is you know zero points you can eat that too um you know it's things like that but i want you to know that you know Weight Watchers may feel very hard. And also, especially when, you know, you've been eating such a bad habit for so much of your life. You know, you know, just 
things that we have in our life, it takes a while for those habits to break. Imagine a habit of eating certain foods your whole life that was unhealthy and then all of a sudden you're expecting yourself to just get in the habit and it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? So it's just a process. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review and hopefully soon I'll put some more about my updates in my Weight Watchers journey. Have a blessed day.